Welcome inside the Switzer Center as we get set for signing day 2012. Bob Stoops is with us. As, what an exciting day, Coach. A long sprint. I think Jay Norvell, we've seen the tweet, a long sprint comes to an end today. How are you feeling about the class? How are you feeling about the way things shape up? It's going really well. It's early in the morning, but the guys uh, that we've expected to sign to this point have, and we expect several more. How, how much has changed, Coach, and how quickly things seem to come together on signing day as opposed to the last 13 years? Well, more and more guys, even if they're having late afternoon signings and media deals or things at the school, usually more and more young guys are signing up early in the morning, get it out of the way, and then they sign a couple more papers in the afternoon. You can follow everything right here at Soonersports.com. And, of course, you can ask questions as well, too, on Twitter. You can see it right there, at OU underscore football. We're going to give you an opportunity to win some tickets to the spring game. Before we show you some highlights of the letters of intent that we have faxed in, I believe we're at 14 right now, including the six that are on campus. Coach, talk to me about need. Uh, uh, need versus athletes. What was the focus in this class? Well, it's always everybody, but we needed the guys that are in early are really going to help. Uh, you get Jordan Wade and Trey Matoyer, guys that we signed a year ago in positions we need them at wide receiver and uh, defensive line. And then uh, the other guys, uh, the tight ends we've got in uh, early are Taylor McNamara and um, I've got all my – and. Uh, well, t uh, Taylor uh, came uh, – Brandon Green. Brandon Green, yeah. You know, so th those two guys on campus really help. And so it's it's positive. Bob Stoops is uh, obviously a name that's synonymous with solid recruiting. You bring in your brother. How fun has that been to be back on the trail with Mike? It's great. Mike's a great recruiter, very personable with guys. And, you know, he, he does a super job. I, 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 the two guys we got here at the end, Gary Simon is a, a big, tough, uh, great athlete out of Florida. And Zach Sanchez, another great athlete, offense, defense, everything he does is really a standout guy down in Texas. So those two guys coming in the secondary at the end will really help. We've got Cause Everett already on campus, and, and that's positive too. You know, before we look at the highlights, I just wanted to get your take on the JUCO route. A couple more JUCOs than we typically see, Coach. Uh, was that just a case of good athletes being available there? Uh, yes, and we, we have some more coming. So it's – Positive. They're guys that through the years, the guys we have signed from junior college have for we've got a great percentage. They've come in, filled some holes and have really played well and, and helped us. And I believe these guys will. Can we look at some highlights? Yeah. Let's take a look at some of these guys. Daniel Brooks will be first up. Got his letter of intent this morning, coach, an athlete out of Calhoun High School. What do we know about Brooks? Great, great speed. Um, he's exciting. He's a guy that if you watch him, you do not catch him once he gets in the open. Probably run a 10-3, 10-400 meters this year in legitimate track times. So Daniel can run and do a lot of things, catch the ball, returns. And like I said, once he gets the edge on somebody, he's not getting caught. His dad played football at TCU, and obviously we're going to see his ability here on one of those jet sweeps. Looks his like he's got great, great speed. His dad was a great sprinter as well. <laughs> Old records down in Texas. So that's Daniel Brooks out of Port Lavica, Texas, Calhoun High School. Picked up his letter of intent today. Don't get too caught up in stars, but again, a guy that's considered a four-star recruit. And there you see, even on the special teams. This is the same video coach, for the most part, that you guys maybe had an opportunity to see to evaluate these guys, isn't it? And we, we get to games, get to practice. We, we try and watch all we can. So that's Daniel Brooks. Here's a guy you've already mentioned. I know a lot of Sooner fans excited about, Koss Everett. Yeah, Koss is a great cover guy, uh, very instinctive. You see him come up and tackle. I uh, really like the way he played. I thought he made plays in every game, tackling, covering. You could see he likes to come up and tackle people. Uh, really competitive. Played in seven games at Pierce College, was a JUCO kid, as you mentioned, Coach. Also 12 receptions for 155 yards as a senior. But it's obvious he's a defensive back coming in, right? Yeah, he's a def defensive back, got great footwork, great competitiveness, really like him. So that's Koss Everett, who is already on campus. And, again, a big-time recruit at the secondary. Might not be the biggest guy, Coach, but makes up for it with his physical play, doesn't he? 
Right. Sam Green, uh, Sam Grant, excuse me, a tight end out of St. Edward High School. Some felt like this was a little bit of a surprise that he ended up with you, Coach. Well, beating Michigan when it's only a couple hours away from Cleveland says a lot. Uh, Sam's, uh, we love him. Tough, physical guy in how he plays. Uh, he catches the football and really blocks well. He's got great size. I don't know what they list him at. He's about 250 pounds, 6'6", and, and just getting bigger and stronger. Talk a little bit about, about I mean, is tight end his set position, Coach, or is there oh, a yeah. chance? He, he's a, we want a big, tough tight end and reminds me of Brody Eldridge. Um, but actually runs and maybe catches a little better than Brody, but uh, similar type guy in how he plays. Again, helped lead his team to the 2010 state title, 15-0. and 0. That's a good la look at big Sam Grant. Let's stay with the tight end position. There's a guy already on campus. You alluded to him off the top, Coach Brandon Green out of Fort Scott, Scott Community College. Again, really tough physical player on the edge. That's something we need. We like to our tight ends and like to run the football as well as throw it to him. But Brandon's really a guy that gives you a tough presence on the outside. More of a run blocking tight end? Yeah, but he still catches well and runs pretty well, too. You know, we always want to be able to throw it to him. Tell me a little bit about the advantage he has being on campus early along with Taylor McNamara. Well, just learning the system and getting all this work in the weight room and training, it'll make a difference for him. That's Brandon Green, tight end. Good look at him there in the spot shadow. Look, just a big body, dominating blockers and He'll be a guy to keep an eye on when spring ball rolls yeah, around. Yeah, already weighs about 260 pounds Ooh. and is in the same mold of, you know, like a Brody Eldridge that we that did so well here. Let's stick on the offensive side of the football. Of course, quarterback is a position where there seems to be good depth right now. You already won this recruiting class when Landry Jones came back, but Blake Bell on campus, and now you add Trevor Knight, six foot three, 200 pounds, out of Ronald Reagan High School in Texas. Uh, excellent thrower and runner. Uh, we really love the athlete that he is. As you see him right here running the ball. Um, but first and foremost, the way he throws the football and the leader he is. He's a great leader, tough kid, uh, excellent athlete, and really throws the ball well. So it's it's good to have all these attributes. That, and, and again, you can see a guy that's got great speed when he gets outside, but uh, kind of has that attitude that you like from a quarterback too, doesn't he? <laughs> I really love him. I just thought all year he, in the locker room after games, he'd always be around and really is what you want as a quarterback when you look at his leadership and his attitude about everything. He and obviously really has, has great confidence in himself. Yeah, great confidence, too, in the pocket, as you can see there. And uh, Coach, just very fluid. Looks like a guy that has all the natural ability you would want at the quarterback position. Absolutely, and that's why we're so excited about him. All right, let's look at John Michael McGee, 6'4", 275 pounds. Look at that big monster, Coach. Again, what you want in the O-line is athletic. You see him catching a pass <laughs> right here and scoring a touchdown. So uh, he's a really good athlete, has excellent feet. Number 50 player in the state of Texas. Again, we don't get too caught up in rankings. Number 49 in the Midlands region by ESPN.com. Also played in the Army All-American game. Does he project as a left tackle? Uh, yes, you, you hope so. All these guys, you want to recruit tackles. You just never know where it ends up. But... John Michael comes in with that kind of ability. What, uh, what, what separates, in, in other words, when you see this coach, what impresses you about John Michael McGee? Uh, his footwork. You, know, you see him as he gets on people. Look how quick he's getting out on the corner here. We're always looking at athleticism with big guys as well. Speaking of big guys, let's move to a guy on campus, Taylor McNamara. Big, strong, physical, 6'5", 235, another Army All-American. And, and another great tight end in that guy that, as you, as people watch us play, we love our tight ends. We use two and three of them a lot. So these guys, you know, Taylor's another guy that really catches the ball well, can run, block, do all the things we like, and has that size, too. Again, t a tight end, obviously a big need. Coach Kittle did a great job on the recruiting trail. And look at Tyler. You know, I, I, I hate to use comparisons, but almost Rob Gronkowski-esque as we get set to well, watch the Patriots. Taylor was committed to Arizona, my brother Mike, for a long time. And Mike swears he is just like uh, Gronkowski was when he, because they recruited him from Buffalo, uh, New York to go to Arizona. Wow. And uh, he, they, they really, he really felt, 
Taylor really reminded him of how Rob Gronkowski was as a high school guy. Now, last year, Coach, I watched you and Kenny Mossman in the ice in the snow talk about Trey Matwire. Now we got him on campus. We're just excited about it. This guy is a great player. Uh, as you watch him right here, physical, fast, great hands, competitive. We're just really glad it's worked out now and and look for, you know, Trey to have a great career here. Uh, Trey Matwire went to Hargrave Academy last year. Coach, what was he able to improve last year? Well, he, everything is you just get older, you get a little bigger, stronger, you know, more experienced, and we really look forward to working with him. By the way, we should mention while we're watching the highlights of Trey Matwire just received the letter of intent from Kyle Mars, offensive lineman out of San Antonio. Talk more about him in just a bit. But Matwire appears to be one of those guys, coach, that helps to not only provide depth, but could be a guy that could step in and play right away. Oh, there's no question. All these receivers will. We're, we're so thin at receiver right now. We expect every one of them to play. So that's Trey Matwire, the, uh, the breakdown, 6'2", 198. Again, just a solid all-around player, a guy who uh, is on campus, which means he'll be able to go through drills in spring. There's Duran Neal. He wins the award for having the first letter of intent faxed in this morning. He, he did. He was the uh, first one up and got it in. And Duran's another exceptional athlete here. You can see it here in the Wildcat. Great, great speed. Uh, great athlete moves. Uh, Another great receiver. We expect Duran to have a huge impact as well. Looks like he has great vision, too. I he mean, does. Again. He's an excellent runner with the football and really a great athlete all around. You know, it's amazing. I grew up in St. Louis, and you've started to see, Coach, more and more kids out of the St. Louis area that are Division I prospects. It was always a challenge in the mid-'90s, and now here's a kid out of DeSmet. Yeah, we really like Duran. Like, like I said, all the things he does, you see a great catch there, and and then running with the football after the catch, he's great. How's he as a blocker downfield? He, he can do it. He's physical. As you watch him, he's got a tough body. Considered one of the top receiver recruits in the country, number three player in the state of Missouri. Watch him go up and get this. Just a solid athlete, Duran Neal, out of DeSmet Jesuit High School. First letter of intent that showed up on the fax machine this morning. One final highlight, that's him on the near side. You'll see him in the spot shadow. Good size. Good speed, as Coach mentioned, good blocker downfield and just runs away from the defensive back. Here's a defensive end that I know you're excited about, Coach Chaz Nelson. Yeah, defensive player of the year in, uh, in his uh, junior college conference right there. And exceptional guy, rushing, playing hard, rushing the pass or being physical. We really like him. Was the JUCO player of the year for his region. Uh, again, a guy that comes from an area coach where you guys have had success getting kids out of Garden City Community College. Yeah and he's originally from Columbus Ohio and but we really like Chaz. He's a guy that liked us. Reminds you of a body type similar to Ron L and, and uh, Lewis in a similar type athlete. This is a guy at the rush end. You can see him good speed forces the turnover and he is already on campus. We'll get a chance to talk to Chad's a little bit later on today during part of our webcast. All right, we're rolling through the 2012 recruiting class, Soonersports.com. Again, send your questions and let's look at a guy that we didn't have to go far, Coach, to catch highlights of, Sterling Shepard. Really a great, great athlete. Sterling can do about anything uh, catching the football, great running with it after the catch, uh, competitive. We just, again, exceptional athlete as you watch him right here. Just got great quickness and speed. I love all the things he does. There, and, there is, and close to home. You know, his dad absolutely. was a great player here. And we have an award in our program named after his dad, the Derek Shepard Most Valuable Walk-On Award. So to be able to recruit Sterling was really exciting for us. Sterling Shepard does project as a wide receiver, right, Coach? Absolutely, and uh, a great one. So he's a guy that can do a lot of things with the football. But one thing that excites me about Sterling Shepard, Coach, is his passion for OU. And while we don't really talk a lot about the job the current players do recruiting, he was a kid that when he was at the Under Armour game, he was selling Oklahoma. Sometimes when you get these early commits, they can be your best recruiters. Oh, no question about it. Players recruit players, <laughs> and uh, they do a great job. But if you see Sterling right here taking the ball away from him, he's a great player. Running back position is one where I would assume depth is a concern, and here comes David Smith, coach out of Illinois. Excellent player, uh, tough, hard-running guy, but a great worker. 
Uh, as you watch him here, he can do a lot of things. Excellent athlete, has excellent size, and, and he's got excellent speed. So he, he's going to do a lot here. Uh, Kale Gundy, of course, coaches the running backs. We, oh, you mentioned it off the top. It's about finding the best players. But did you feel the need to add a couple of running backs in this class? Well, we finished the year with two, so <laughs> quite obviously we did. And again, looking back, it's funny because Trey Millard, whenever he had signed, they had listed him as a tight end. David Smith, no doubt, he's a, he's a running back with good explosive speed, coach. And I mean, it, it, you watch this, and he's got the great moves that you want in a natural tailback. Just just looks very fluid and very natural. Absolutely. He makes people miss him. He runs through tackles. He got speed. He got size. He's he's going to be an excellent player. Uh, also caught 11 passes out of the backfield, so a guy that you can not only trust running the football, but like most of the running backs for the University of Oklahoma coach, whenever he gets it out in the flat, he can make something happen catching the football. Yeah, you have to be able to catch it in our system. Good look at the speed as he gets outside. That's David Smith, 6'1", 197 pounds out of Bremen High School, which is in Midlothian, Illinois. All right, back to the offense, or back to the defensive line, excuse me, and that's Charles Tapper out of Baltimore, Maryland, City College High School. Watch this kid. Great, great athlete. I just talked to him. He had 28 points in basketball the other <laughs> night and 11 rebounds. So. Ooh. He, he's what you want, just an excellent athlete out on the perimeter, but tough so, and physical, but can really run, can dunk like crazy. He's like Charles Barkley out there <laughs> playing basketball. So, so is Lon Kruger going to come fighting for him? <laughs> I don't know, but he, he could help. <laughs> Good look at Charles Tapper. Again, big defensive end. And as Coach mentioned, standout basketball player, plays for a Nike Baltimore Elite, but here we're just looking at his ability to get after the passer, a good solid rush in. And then See an obviously dropping right coverage. <laughs> That's kind of a natural thing. Here's another big guy, Michael Anawahu out of Edmond, Santa Fe, the number four prospect in the state of Oklahoma. He made it known late last night on his Twitter feed, Boomer Sooner. He's a Sooner all the way. What do you like about Mike? Uh, great athlete. He's got great range and size, uh, really can run, change direction. And the nice thing that you, Michael it hasn't played football that long, so his – Upside and development is going to be great, and we're really excited about the athlete and the acceleration, the size he has. And I guess I should be clear here because signing day is always a day when you learn how to pronounce names. A Noah, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> Michael sure, and Noah. Make sure we get that right. But Edmond Santa Fe prospect, solid program there, and did a great job. And look at the speed just chasing down the quarterback from behind. He's got behind. great range. He's like six six. 235 pounds. He's going to be a big guy. So overall, getting a look at a lot of great athletes, Coach. That's what you want. We want guys that can run on top of being physical and being competitive. A couple of guys that signed while we were looking at the highlights. Gary Simon out of St. Petersburg, Florida. You talked about him. A little bit more of a physical cornerback, right? Well, he's got the size you love. He's 6'2", uh, about 190, 95 pounds. Tremendous basketball player as you watch him up there. Great bump and run guy. He's averaging the other day, he told me he had 28 points or so in a basketball game. Can dunk every way you want. Just really exceptional athlete. Sounds like a lot of not just multi-sport athletes, Coach, but a lot of multi-dimensional guys, too. Well, that's what you want, especially at the skilled positions. And you're watching him right here catch a fade route on offense and just does everything, a great athlete. This is a guy that your brother, Mike, got in pretty quickly late, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, Mike got on him there late, and we're really excited about him. You don't get many corners that, that have this speed and size. He's got like a 42-inch vertical jump at at six foot two. So that's a good look at Gary Simon out of Gibbs High School, St. Petersburg, Florida, and a dual threat. We talked about the athleticism. Watch him return a kick here. Explosive speed. Man. And, and I, I got a chance to watch him at basketball practice, and I was really impressed. The guy can really play. We got to make sure we keep Lon Kruger away from these highlights the more well, you he, talk about I, him. Gary wants to try and play Does he basketball. Really? We, let, we, we told him we'd let him. Just in Kyle Mars, coach, out of San Antonio. What stood out about Kyle? Another really physical player, uh, excellent athlete, good, good, tough run blocker, what you want up front. See him right there on the outside. Uh, you know, I, I said this a lot, but uh, I was always impressed with the job that 
your offensive line did throughout the year, Coach. But when you lose Donnie Stevenson, I mean, that leaves a pretty big hole. But there's good depth on the offensive line, too. So it's going to be tough to try to crack that, uh, that that depth chart, isn't it? Well, as fast as we play and snap the ball, you, you need a number of guys to be able to rotate in there. You know, throughout the day, we're giving fans a chance to ask questions, and all you need to do is drop us a note on Twitter, at OU underscore Sooner, and we'll ask your question like Chad Best did here for you, Coach, and before we let you go, we'll ask, are there any players in this class who could play either side of the football? Oh, all these athletes could. Uh, any of the receivers that you watched and, and running backs could they could always play on the defensive side. Uh, that that doesn't wouldn't surprise me. And even some of the defensive guys, like Zach Sanchez, was a great offensive receiver, uh, a special one. So a lot of these guys could could do either one. By the way, with that question, congratulations, Chad. You win a pair of tickets to the OU Red White game. OU underscore football. Keep tweeting at us. We'll ask the coaches questions all day long. Coach, thanks for coming by, man. All it right. means a lot. I know this is a busy day Thank for you. you, but we appreciate it. All and right. let's take a look at the busiest guy today. This is what the fax machine has looked like in the coach's office since 7 a.m. this morning. This has been recruiting day coverage on Soonersports.com. We're back in just a bit with the latest news on the Sooner signing class.